All right, I got Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts here. Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is a early access game. So early access, it's not even on Steam yet. Even though the listing is there, you can't buy it through Steam. You got to buy it directly from the creators of the game. It is also so early access that there's no campaign yet. All you have is Naval Academy, where you more or less are just building uh, building ships for the sake of individual uh, actions, individual battles. So, let's go and do... Um, catch up to destroyers... So, each one has a different enemy, and a different, um, it's going to be a different battle each time. It seems as though the game, I, I haven't really played this much yet, but it is, it seems as though every time you load this up, it sort of randomized enemies a little bit. Okay, super battle net. Modern battleship. Spare your fire control. Numbers don't matter. Alright, so here you go. This is the last one. Numbers don't matter. Your main adversary is a huge battleship with technologies of the 1940s. You will be outgunned, outperformed in every way, but you have the numbers. You must defeat several capital ships and try to sink this steel monster. Seven destroyers will be at your disposal, and you can give the final blow to the enemy battleship if you manage to slow it down with your heavy shell fire. So the enemy fleet is going to consist of one battleship and two destroyers. Your allied fleet is going to consist of seven destroyers. We're going to have 180 minutes, so three hours, and the wind conditions sink 100% of the battleships, keep alive 30% of your own battleships, keep alive 30% of battle cruisers. Now I'm not going to build any battle cruisers, so that doesn't matter. And you have an option, a bonus, either a better technology or more funds. I'm going to go with better technology. It gives a little bit less boiler weight, a little uh, better fuel storage, which doesn't matter for this. Aiming speed and accuracy is plus 2.5 gun long range accuracy is 5% is it going to be a long range fight and a negative 25% accuracy penalty from sea waves and it unlocks 10 components as opposed to funds where you gain an additional 100 million dollars to build it would probably give me an extra ship more or less if I were able to use more funds, but I I really kind of want that technology. Second you're watching. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's right off the bat. This thing, this hull here, the Dreadnought 4 hull, has a maximum displacement of 62,000 tons. I'm actually going to push that all the way down to 46. I might up it later if I uh, I might up this later if I feel the need but at the moment I don't range I'm gonna push that all the way down because since there's no since there is no campaign I don't have to worry about range and I'm gonna slap on a few pieces of technology, geared steam turbines, I'm going to go fuel, uh, shaft, better, iron plate, this is not going to be an ironclad, I'm going to push this all the way up, best technology I have, and notice, going from iron plate, the technologies I've used have more, more or less reduced, okay, let me, let me reset this up. I don't know about that one, but... Okay, 64% of the weight is taken up simply by the hull itself. 
68 with the range set to the default. Drop that down, 64% of the weight is taken. 57, 54. I don't know if that's really going to matter to me. 55, that put it up. But iron plate, going from iron plate to Krupp steel. Krupp 4. Now we're only at 40%. So I have 40% of the ship to play with. So I'm going to uh, throw on some armor. Shells are going to be heavy. It's going to be a big motherfucker we're shooting at. Black powder going all the way up to TNT. High TNT. Hydraulic turrets I'm going to keep because there's really one target. We're not going to have to track multiple targets. Standard reloading. Semi-auto, though. I want this fucker uh, firing faster. And higher stereoscopic range finder. I'm going to ignore the radio for now. Generation 2. Radar. So, we're at 20,565 tons, which is 55% of our total allotment for this hull, but we're using 17% of our 195,000, 195,000 <laughs> of our cost. So now it's time to actually put some stuff on this hull. Main tower. Now this is one of those things, like, because I'm trying to use this small hull, I have to be careful about what I, um, about what I use on here. I'm tempted to just go and stick the biggest tower on here, but I won't be able to put any guns on this son of a bitch if I use this, if I use this gigantic four tower. But if I go all the way down and use this much smaller tower, then I won't be able to put any... Uh, I'd be able to put my big guns on there, but my, like, look at this, aiming speed is 30 with that, it's only 14 with this. Accuracy is plus 25 with this, it's only plus 7 with that. Uh, damage control 20, damage control is only 13. So I'm going to try to go somewhere in the middle in terms of the technology. Rear tower, I'm going all the way up on this. Maximum technology in the rear tower. There's a lot of different things that you have to balance out when it comes to this game. Okay, now I got to my two towers and a funnel. Now, the only other thing absolutely necessary for you to take this thing in the combat are center guns. Now, I'm going to need some big fucking guns because this is going to be a big battleship that I'm fighting. So the biggest they have are 18 inch. Fortunately, 18 inch are a little bit bigger. Well, you know, I could probably do this. I could probably use these. See what happens if... Okay, I stick an 18 incher back there. If I pop you here, I get rid of you. Can I fit you? Or you? At least be able to fit you. Okay, so I can get 18 inch guns on this thing. Not many, but I can get 18-inch guns on this thing. The other option is to go... The other option is to go 17-inch guns. I could put one there. And I could take a far bet. Put another 17-inch gun there. Then I can fit whatever whatever tower I can find that will fit. Yeah, look at that. 
And with that, then I can stick. Whatever secondary battery I can fit on this thing. Okay, so that's a different option. The guns are a little bit smaller, but we have we have nine instead of six. This this gun doesn't this gun can't really fire. Um, that's better. It's not the secondary battery that I was hoping for, though. I'm also not going to be able to put heavy enough armor on this thing. I want to be able to deck this thing out with an effective secondary battery of 8-inch guns. Because I don't want to put terribly small guns on here. I mean, 7-inch will still suit my needs. Not as well as 8, but it'll still work. This is the kind of design that I would build if I were, like, uh, trying to build a practical all-around all-around uh, multi-role warship. I'll just load this kind of crap all over there, and I'd be able to use... Like In fact, I've, I'm at about 33% of the cost. So this is an effective warship for most uses. It's 37,000 tons, so it's almost a uh, treaty ship. Guns are too big for that, though. It's got a bunch of secondaries and casements. It's got some turreted secondaries at 7 inch. But the big deal is it's got three 17 inch guns. <sighs> unfortunately, the set. It's. Unfortunately, I'm not going to win a shooting fight with this. At least not against what I'm expecting the enemy to throw at me. I don't quite know what they're going to throw at me because it is randomized a little bit. It's possible that the ship that they throw at me is going to be like this 105,000 ton monster. Going to have crazy armor. Going to have crazy armor. So I'll need the high powered 18 inch, 17 or 18 inch guns. But it's going to have like, like uh, 10... 15, uh, 10, or, uh, 14, uh, like, 15-inch guns. So it's going to be a little disproportionately defensive. It's also possible that it's just going to stick 18-inch uh, guns on that thing, and I'm going to have a hard time defending against it with the kind of armor scheme that I have on this ship. So, I... I am... It's a shame, though. I can't stick that fucking... I can't get an 18-incher all the way out here. That is killing me. I can't get an 18-inch gun out here. I, I can't get enough... I can't safely get enough armor up. So, I'm going to go... Oh, damn, what am I doing? I'm going to go 18-inch guns on this. What kind of tower is this? Advanced Tower 7. I'm going to ditch this tower. See what other options I have. so big. Alright, this leaves this hideous thing leaves room for on the side for secondaries. Oh, maybe it was maybe it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Not as efficient as if I could put the secondaries on the center line. 
Not as efficient at all. Man, it's such a waste of... That is such a waste of weight, though. I feel almost bad having to do it. I want to be able to put these damn guns in the center line. Maybe I won't go with the... Maybe I won't go with the secondary... Maybe I won't go with the secondary at all. Can I do this, I wonder? Do something sort of like... Can I mount this all the way back? No, I can't. Alright. If I mount this all the way forward, can I get a secondary tower back here? Even a shitty one? No. In fact, to hold this small, I can't get... This, I, can't, I simply can't use this. Uh, can't use this tower. Maybe, perhaps I can balance it out. Use this tower here. Use the most advanced rear tower I can get. Stick my funnel on. Shame there's so much room back here. <laughs> and then I use. No, uh, no. This one works because it's high enough. You know, it doesn't look like it. This one's no good. I'll have to swap that out for a seven inch. Not that great a field of fire, but it'll work. All right, so I got a bunch of it's set aft weight is offset by 5.3%. So maybe I could stick a couple of casements on the front. Alright, so I gotta figure out a way of getting the weight down in the back. Because it's 5.3%. Maybe I could eliminate these. 4.4, 4.1. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm trying to balance the ship forward and backward. I mean, I'll send it weighted in one direction if I have to. Kinda don't want to. Stick a torpedo tube in the front. That'll help, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, 1.7%. You know what? I'm going to call that a win. What do I have here? The 18-inch guns. I am at 30% of cost. So. Not too worried about torpedoes. Not too worried about torpedoes at all. Not worried too much about weight either. I go super heavy shells. I'd kind of like to save a little bit of weight in order to get the speed of the ship up. Because now I'm basically at 33% of cost, which means I'm going to be able to build three ships. But I'm also... Hmm... 
This is the best secondary tower I could have. Yeah. And this is the best primary tower I could have. I want to, I'd like 28 knots. But I'm at full weight and I haven't touched armor yet. I'd hate to ditch all my casements. remaining. Okay, I got 31%. I put a 5-inch gun back here. It's probably not going to be useful. But I got that gun mounting, so it feels like kind of a waste I'm way down on armament, though. I'd li I would have liked a better secondary battery. But I'm going to need to start tweaking armor. I have 2% of cost to increase armor. Now, I'm going to be engaging at range. So I'm going to want heavier deck armor. 7.6. Well, let's just pop some uh, things at random. What is much armor okay we're at 34 percent now so I gotta drop back uh, okay belt armor is a little bit above average at 12.3 percent the A large funnel. 210. I could save a little bit of money by ditching that funnel there. Not significant amount though. Stepping out. I'm just doing little changes. There we go. I reduced the shell. They have 35% fewer rounds. I reduced the shell capacity. So I'm going to have less ammunition. Hmm. So what do I want? Do I want to increase speed? Or armor. I'm going to go armor. So I can actually make this thing pretty beefy in terms of armor. Now belt and deck. Belt and deck is what I'm mostly concerned with. Although I will do a little bit of turret armor. Because I don't want to lose a turret during this fight. Oh wait. I'm... Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm at the maximum cost with as much armor as I can get on this thing. Before I make it cost so much that I can only build two battleships instead of three. It's going to be a Japanese ship. It's flying the Japanese flag there. Alright, so it's the best balance of technology and weapons that I could manage to put together here. Not quite what I had hoped for. If I had a little bit more money, thirty-seven thousand. So it's and eighteen, eighteen inch. Okay, let's launch. Yep, same reason. Alright, so it's not like World of Warships where you take direct control over your ship. I'm going to actually turn on AI control for my battleships and then my destroyer escorts. I'm not destroyer escorts at ships, they're just destroyers that are escorting me. 
And you notice I have a three hour time limit for this. It might actually take that long. So I am going to, um, I'm going to speed up time. You can do that 10 times. Boom, speeding it up. Now they're going to, oh, we're already being shot at. Damn, sorry, I touched the microphone twice. Oh, this battleship's already taken a hit. Wow, this motherfucker's good. Where is it? Ten guns on this thing. Although I can't tell exactly what it's shooting at me yet. It is... Ten guns and double turrets. It's probably the 105 gun, uh, 105 ton ship that I was thinking it would be. Okay, ship identification. Oh, it's taken a couple of hits too. Oh, look at that. Ship identification, once it gets 100%, we'll be able to tell what it is, and I think maybe our accuracy will increase. Okay, my ship's my flagship has a 20% accuracy on its 18-inch guns. It actually did some decent damage there. This guy's rocking... I can't tell yet, but... I'll be able to tell what its accuracy rating is once it's identified. We're definitely getting the better of this fight so far. Three against one. Now it is a little bit ridiculous. One ship against three, but the idea is that its technology is better. It can be better, bigger. They've probably got more money to spend for building their ship too. So that's why they have this monstrosity here. The super. The idea of a super battleship is a little bit ridiculous, though, because I mean the cost in terms of building something like that is insane. It's absolutely insane. And it is vernal. I mean, you can build something with crazy thick armor, but you're not going to be able to stop 18-inch guns. Couldn't even stop the 17-inch guns that I thought about putting on there, or maybe even the 16-inch guns. Oh, the secondaries are coming in the range. It's going to start firing off with secondaries. As far as my ships go, it's still only within range of the main guns. The secondary range is here. We will cross that in a couple of minutes, and then my secondaries will open up on it. Alright, my flagship is at 54% structural. This thing, 51, so... Went in that fight. Oh, it's flooding. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Okay, so it's got sixteen-inch guns, ten sixteen-inch guns. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of sixteen-inchers. It clearly wasn't built with the idea. I mean, so they they go up and down in terms of their armor, armament, all that kind of stuff. Just for on their main guns, also. They every time I've done this mission. Oh, it's three two of the main guns. We're fucking this thing up. It's been a little bit different because like, you're not going to be facing the same ship every time because you can just tailor your design to what they have. It doesn't quite have as much of an armament. The 10, 16 inch guns are nothing to laugh at, but it's not 30% at 29% accuracy with those guns. Compared to the 80 with my 18 inch guns. Oh, yeah, we, we definitely have the advantage here. 16 inch armor, oh, we're in range of the 8 inch secondaries. So my secondaries are going to open up on it, even though they only have 6% accuracy. Your 16 inch guns can damage me, clearly. My flagship and then the second ship in my line are. Uh,
are quite damaged. But the the enemy ship, though, I mean, the 16-inch guns are not not quite. I mean, I went heavy on my armor just in case they were building something like this. I mean, it's possible. I've seen, I've done this mission where they put 14-inch guns on the ship, and the 14-inch guns were simply insubstantial in as far as damaging the kinds of ships that I built here. 16-inch guns, a little better, not the best, but they went lots of guns instead of heavy guns, and they're paying the price for it right now. It's a, it's a long-ranged fight. I mean, the 8-inch secondaries are firing, but they're, they're not going to do a lot of damage. In fact, their secondaries are only at 0.67% accuracy. The main battery's at 38. That's not terrible. Compared to my flagship with 84% accuracy with its main inch gun, and like 7.5% for the secondaries. It's running at 28 knots, whereas I'm going at uh, 28. We, are, we have parity on that. My destroyer's screen isn't really... My destroyers will get fucked up if they charge this thing. I'm mostly using them to ensure that their destroyers don't race in and fuck up my battleship because I don't have a lot of secondaries or torpedo defenses on my battleship. 5% structural integrity left. It's 88% floating. It hasn't lost buoyancy. It's not flooded substantially. Uh, so, I've knocked most of its guns out of commission. They, in fact, they only seem like they have one main turret remaining. And it's firing when this, this battle's over. It's only a 1.2% accuracy. They probably lost their range finding. They're fucked. Alright, uh, I damaged their main gun again. Destroyed main gun. They got nothing. And it blew up. Ammo detonation. We win. Now let's do... Smaller word... Let's do keep. Okay, so no, this is the exact opposite. This is, this is, you build one super ship, and the enemies are swarming you with smaller ships. So in this one, I can go full-on big tower. Oh, that's weird. I can go full-on big tower, I can build the beastliest motherfucker that I can come up with. I don't have to worry about, uh, I'm not going to try maintaining it so I can build more than one, more than one of these things. Oh, look at that. I can't, uh. I can't stick a turret all the way up there. I can't even super fire this thing. Well, these are this is a rear turret, so I'm less concerned about super firing a rear turret. Oh, I can't at all. Jet. I can stick a secondary in there. I can't set a barbette here for some reason. So, here I am getting into the weeds, uh, sticking different designs in. If I stick this back any. Alright, let me be realistic about this. They're not going to be throwing anything with super heavy armor like what I did. They're not going to be doing that. So, let's go this. 
stick my huge barbette here. Main guns, let's go 16 inch. I'm gonna go full on Montana with this shit. Full on Mont Montana. 12 16 inchers. Deck this thing out with some 8 inchers on the center line. There we go. Casements. Yes, I'll take some of them. Take me all of them. Boom. Let's uh, do all of this shit. Because, you know, why the fuck not? Seven <laughs> percent. Okay, I'm at 113 percent cost. I went a tad overboard. Oh yeah, range dropped to a minimum. I'm also over heavy. I'm also heavy. 111 percent weight. Went nuts overdoing it. Overdid it. All right, let's let's drop uh, drop this shit off. This was unnecessary. Ah, kind of went went at least a little bit of speed on this thing. I will have a torpedo screen. But I will have some torpedo defenses. Haha, <laughs> cost shot way up with that. Alright, so what can I do? I like all these damn guns. I'm in love with all of these guns. I don't know, maybe... That's not substantial. Put those back. Okay, I got weight under control. Cost is still ballooned up. Let's, uh... There we go. Cost is down a little bit. I can shrink the ship a little bit. Four weight offset is 38%. 38%, wow. Two percent. Went with a longer ship. I can't put a barbette back here. What other designs do I have? Dreadnought 3, are you f oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change this to... I'm gonna change this to... Uh, start again. Let me get all of this shit... Together.
choose all of this crap now, so I don't have to worry about factoring in the cost later. Okay. Can I get no barbets back here still? You suck. Sixteen inch guns is all I have. I had to step down the technology a little bit. Oh wait, no, I had sixteen inch guns on the last try. Okay, I have more money to work with is the big difference that I have here. So eight inchers. Eight inchers. Can I get like a five incher in this little? There's got to be something I can get in here. There we go. <laughs> I, I get a single five inch gun there. Alright, so get my casements up. Hit me with all the casements. Four weight is offset 43%. Holy shit. If it would let me put a friggin' barbette back here, I could weigh down the back of this thing quite a bit. Also, I could increase speed that'll set more weight in the back so that's where the engine is all right so we're at 44,000 tons four weight is offset 36 percent No mounts for barbettes back here. That is insane. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm almost, I'm almost uh, tempted to put side-mounted turrets back here, just to, just to weigh down the back a bit. <laughs> I mean, that's stupid, but. Ridiculous thing. All right, so here's the center of the ship. I just got to stick more crap on the back. for you. This doesn't this doesn't make really shit. Although we are overweight. <laughs> uh, I'd hate to do this. I hate to do this. Change one of my 16s for. Hmm. Actually, this uh, this battle cruiser hurl hull, what that can get me. I mean, armor is going to be what I make of it. Let's put displacement all the way up, range down. Set up bulkheads a little bit. It's 
light in terms of armor, but I can beef that up. 34 knot speed. I'm going to pop it down to 30. Or 31. I'll, I'll pop it back up again. If I... Um, if I feel the need. Four weight offset is 25% of cost. Casement guns. Oh, I gotta go small on casement guns. My secondary battery is gonna be weak as fuck. Oh, look at that. I can get one here. Too bad I can't mount one on top of a turret. There's some designs that actually did that. Now, <sighs> torpedoes, why the fuck not? I mean, I'm probably not going to see them be used, but, you know. Lots of guns, lots of... problem is I don't have the armor. I don't need 39 knots. That's insane. Let's get it at 34. And let's just beef up armor. I don't even need 34. Let's keep it at 30. Because they're not going to be bringing anything to this fight that can go 30. Alright, so. Four weight is offset 19 points, 19 percent. I wonder if I can. Uh, can I set you out a little bit further. It's only 11.2 percent. If I could move you. can't get you out any further. Ten point six percent. Welcome to the worst place to be stationed on the ship. Oh fuck, you are gonna die if you try staying there. But it's not real, so. <laughs> 10.6%. 
10.6%. Okay. It is still light on, like, deck armor and stuff like that. It's a weird ship. It is a weird, weird ship. Let's get those damn torpedoes off of there. Torpedoes on a battleship or a battle cruiser is kind of a stupid idea. And I will have destroyers, so they could torpedo if necessary. So I have a little bit more money to spend. Okay. Four weight offset is 10.1%. I'm just going to have to live with that. Because so I can't... I can't do much about that. I guess I could maybe... If I eliminated this, 8.9%. Lost some secondaries, though. Get rid of this funnel. 8.8. .8. Now I'm missing a funnel. Fine. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna not have the funnel, and I'm gonna use that weight for armor. It's gonna be a long-range fight, so I really should focus on deck armor. I'm gonna try and keep distance. Alright, so, that's, alright, let's throw that into the fight. <laughs> All right, let's. Looks like we've already seen the enemy, because we have better technology. Oh, well, they're firing on us though. Heavy armor for a battle cruiser. get in the range for eight inches. Oh, look at that. A lot of turrets on that son of a bitch. One's a midship turret, though. I took a hit. Oh, I destroyed a secondary gun. Oh, that's substantial damage. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, look at the look at the all the red on that thing. Possibly a battleship. Possibly, well, I mean, it's definitely a battleship. It's possibly a battle cruiser. It figures, although. It looks like it's the same class as the other ships, and why he thinks that. This thing is... This... It's like a cruiser. This... Looks like... Any, wow, that thing's a piece of shit. Look at this. Look at this fucker. <laughs> oh, my tarp... My, uh... Torpedoes away towards the enemy destroyers. I'm just going to follow this for a little bit. Alright, so that's not going to happen. My secondaries are alive and well, firing off on those destroyers, trying to keep them at a distance. I've taken a bit of damage. Alright, so this thing is 14-inch guns. Not a lot. It's got torpedoes, but it's going to stay at a distance. And it's got 
light, relatively light armor. This thing, not identified, not identified. 11 inch guns for a cruiser. I'm not too worried about that. That thing, 10 inch guns. Surprisingly heavy armor on it, but. Oh, what is this destroyer doing? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> What do I get for leaving AI control on? Indomitable. Is nobody in range for your 8 inch guns? It's not firing its secondaries. Great, you missed. My accuracy is shit. Oh, hit one of them, uh... Was that a torpedo hit? Whatever, this thing got hit. I mean, I, my, my ship... My battle cruiser shot at it. I got the impression that it was a torpedo hit that sank it. They're about to ram each other. Oh. Okay, my accuracy is getting better. Oh. Significant damage. Destroyed a secondary. These guys have dropped smoke. They're whipping all over the damn place. They must have just fired torpedoes. Yeah, in fact, we got a torpedo away. It's gonna miss. Yeah, guys, get the hell out of there. Oh, oh, torpedo hit. I took a torpedo. Damn it, screen my fucking battle cruiser. <laughs> Are you going to fire or what? What the fuck's going on here? This cruiser is getting ballsy. That was a miss. Are you kidding me? This cruiser is getting ballsy. He's got light armor. A good hit. And he's fucked. He can't really do much damage either. He's throwing torpedoes. I mean, he's got torpedoes coming for him, but he's probably dodged. Well, maybe not this one. No, he's dodged them. Oh, nope, I got a hit on him. He took a hit. Half his fucking health in one hit. Torpedo's getting, um, destroyer's getting ballsy. Jeez, 39% accuracy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, turn. Damn it, turn. What the fuck is wrong with you? 
Oh, torpedo hit. Destroyed its rudder. Or damaged its rudder. Oh. Destroyer, uh, I guess that means it lost its captain. Oh, uh, the other destroyer gone? No. It's got engine damage, but... If I can get those destroyers gone, I'll move in from... It was a hit, but... I mean, that thing's got some armor on it. Not terribly good armor, but it didn't do brutal damage. It's in range of my secondaries. I don't know why... Oh, they are firing. <laughs> this thing's just cruising out of control. Where are my destroyers? Must have launched torpedoes. Where are they at? Something. I sank something. I don't know what it was, but it sank. <laughs> damage. Fucking Nagato. Japanese ships. This cruiser is almost gone. If I can get a decent fucking hit on it. My AI captain. Oh, that was significant. Fire and flooding. Usually those two problems, they'd sort themselves out, wouldn't they? I mean... The flooding would sort out the fire damage eventually. I, I don't know if it's necessarily what you want to see happen, but... Alright, these things are slow as fuck. I could have gone with a much slower... I could have gone with a much slower um, battleship. Ooh, 650 damage. Destroyers are getting ballsier. Is, is this one retreating? No, oh, no, he just launched his torpedoes. At what? I don't know. That cruiser? This one's retreating. Get up here and screen the fucking battle sh cruiser. Can you really call it a battle cruiser when you up its armor so much? Where did those torpedoes go? Somewhere between the Nautilus and this Azak? I, I don't know. Torpedo strike from that distance is probably doomed to fail anyway. It's about to get in range of my three inches.
good hit for my battle cruiser because it's three inch guns are firing on it. Might disable that thing. Oh, they're all clustered together. That <laughs> means if I miss one, I might hit another. <laughs> the logic of that's a little weird, but it works. And destroyed a main gun. Well, that's something. Not a lot of damage, but I destroyed one of their guns. Battleship's in bad condition. Oh! Wow! Destroyed the main tower. Over a thousand damage. And they're ramming each other. <laughs> Bumper boats. Secondaries aren't even firing at this thing. this thing still alive? Damn it. <laughs> Where are my destroyers? Do your job and keep the other destroyers away from me. 19% accuracy. 12 guns, meaning something should hit. This thing's got a surprising amount of health on it. Lost his captain, I guess. <sighs> Insubstantial. I'm about to say fuck, fuck trying to attack those things and do something about these. Oh, these cruisers don't have torpedoes. Well, that one does. A few. But it ain't gonna make it. <laughs> In fact, it lost its torpedo too. Great. This one, I don't know why this one's getting so close. It's the dumbest fucking decision it could possibly make. I was about to say switch the main battery to this thing, but... Keep popping off on that battleship. Take it out. Oh, it already switched targets, didn't it? It already switched targets. Get up there and torpedo this fucker. Are you gonna hit it or what? 10% <laughs> accuracy? Come on. It's launched its torpedoes. Here they are. It's turning away. It's trying to avoid. It probably will. Casemate got destroyed. Finally a fucking hit. <laughs> Alright. You've turned it away. Stay back off. 
That's almost dead in the water. Oh, I managed to land a good hit on it. Looks like they're trying to get away. I need I only have an hour left, so I need to start making some moves. I sank some of their ships. I need to sink 30 uh, 65% of theirs. Sixty-five percent. Six percent, six point six percent chance. Better. <laughs> Where'd this thing come from? It's got no torpedoes, so it's effectively useless. wouldn't know it by the hail of misses that I just fired off. It's got no torpedoes. This thing didn't have torpedoes anyway. This thing's got four torpedoes left. But it's at a distance. We got two battleships that are almost dead. For some reason I can't finish them off. Oh, destroyed a secondary tower on something. This destroyer, maybe? <laughs> Fifteen percent accuracy. Come on, make use of it. Substantial damage, but still didn't fucking sink it. I mean, its guns are fucking pathetic. 2%. This one's a little better at 3. I'm at 20, so. 20, but. one of their main guns. You gonna do something about that little bastard or what? Come on. 18 percent. detonation. That's what I'd like to call a good hit. Right, so now i got to start the ranging process all over again, dialing in my shots. This destroyer is, like, right up on you. It's only got 5-inch guns, so we can't do shit. Like, are you going to... Like, do something about it. God. You're killing me here. Where are my destroyers? 
They are way, way out of this. Twenty percent accuracy. Make use of it. It's only got ten and a half inch armor. Thirty-nine percent. Come on, I'm expecting you to fuck this thing up the next salvo. Forty-two percent. Come on. Substantial damage. Yes. Now we're at thirty percent still. So it's right next to you. You can send a dude over there with a knife and cut their throats. Oh, we had torpedo launchers. Boom. Alright. Sick of this goddamn thing. Taking a lot of shit. I'm surrounded. Destroyed their torpedo launcher that they had no ammo for. Oh, there we go. They're flooding. Turn. Turn hard. How does that destroyer stay alive? Bam! Main battery took it out. Okay, what do I have here? This thing... 10 inchers, this thing, that thing's almost gone. Target this. Oh my destroyers. You just detach. So you don't have to group, regroup with them in order to re-engage. Alright, 15% accuracy on the main battery. S steering is damaged, so... 18% accuracy on the main battery. Destroyed a casement. So many of these other ships are just undamaged. Fuck them up, come on. 25% accuracy, I'm expecting to make use of that. Captain. How many more do I gotta sink? I 
Alright, so they still got torpedoes of remaining. I shouldn't have lost track of them. battery is still tracking. Uh, still rotating. Fantastic. All right, turn hard. <laughs> light cruiser, light cruiser, destroyer. It's one cruiser, two, three light cruisers, and a destroyer somewhere. Now, where is the cruiser? They may not possess anything anymore that's really capable of doing significant damage unless something's still got torpedoes. Alright, accuracy still shit. shit their pants when that happened. It was my destroyers. This one's way out. A lot of engine troubles. So that's not going to factor in. Only got 22 minutes left. Come on, dial in your accuracy. 4.7%. I need better than that. I mean, one good hit should fuck that thing pretty good, but... Hopefully I'll get a hit on this one. At 8%, with 12 guns. 9% with 12 guns. The numbers are in my favor. Although I still missed. There we go. Oh, I damaged... They damaged my steering. Oh, I took a torpedo hit. Fuck, fine. God damn it. And, oh, and I won. Fantastic. Alright, so there we go. That was Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts. Wow, an hour and a half long. Hmm. Didn't even feel like it from my end. I don't know about you. <laughs> 